Hey guys, it's Janine here, and in today's video, we are going to be learning how to use the product rule to take the derivative of a product of two functions. So the product rule says that the derivative with respect to x of a function f of x times g of x is equal to f of x times g prime of x plus g of x times f prime of x. So the way I like to remember this is by referring to f of x as the first function and g of x as the second function. So the right hand side becomes the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. And so let's go ahead and apply this to some examples. Okay, so in this first example here, we have y is equal to x squared times x minus 1. So we want to take its derivative. And so the first thing I like to do is label our function. So this is our first function, and this is our second function. And so now let's go ahead and take its derivative. So we have y prime is equal to the first, so x squared, times the derivative of the second. So the derivative of x minus 1 is just equal to 1. And then plus the second, so x minus 1, times the derivative of the first, so the derivative of x squared. So that's just equal to 2x. Okay, so let's go ahead and rewrite this. So we have x squared, and let's go ahead and distribute this 2x, so we have plus 2x squared, and then minus 2x. And we can see that we have like terms, this x squared and this 2x squared here. So we can combine those. So we get 3x squared minus 2x. And so that is our derivative. And so let's go ahead and take a look at another example. So in this next example here, we have f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 2 times x to the fifth minus 2x. So again, let's go ahead and start out by labeling our functions. So here we have our first function. And here we have our second function. Let's go ahead and take the derivative of our function. So we have f prime of x is equal to the first function, so 3x squared plus 2, times the derivative of the second function, so the derivative of x to the fifth minus 2x. So that gives us 5x to the fourth minus 2. And then plus the second function, so we have x to the fifth minus 2x, times the derivative of the first. So the derivative of the first is equal to 6x. Okay, and so from here, let's go ahead and expand our terms so we can simplify. So we have 3x squared times 5x to the fourth, which is 15x to the sixth. And then we also have negative 6x squared, and then we have plus 10x to the fourth, and minus 4, and 6x to the sixth, minus 12x squared. And so the next step is to combine like terms. So we have an x to the sixth here, and an x to the sixth term here. We have an x squared term here and an x squared term here. And we have an x to the fourth term here and a minus four here. So let's go ahead and combine our like terms. So we have 15x to the sixth plus 6x to the sixth, so that gives us 21x to the sixth. And then we have our 10x to the fourth. And then we also have our minus 6x 
squared and our minus 12x. So we can go ahead and combine those two and we get minus 18x squared and we have our minus 4. And so that is our derivative. And so that is how you use the product rule to find the derivative of a product of two functions. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.